looking at stars, you're actually looking into the past. Many of the stars we see at night have already died. Many of us have heard this quote somewhere before, right? But is it true that all these beautiful stars are long gone? I am Sabra and this is what I'm willing to demystify in this video. The first statement is actually correct. When you look at stars, you are seeing them as they once were in the past. And that's because when you gaze upon the sky in night, you are not seeing a real-time version of stars. Basically, light as far as we know is the fastest thing on the universe, but it's not infinitely fast. With a speed of 300,000 km per second, it still takes time to get from one place to another. Adding to that, the fact that when you see anything, what you are really doing is using your eyes to detect the light that is either given off or reflected by it. In a simpler way, when you take a look at the clock across the room, you are not seeing it as it is now, but as it was a tiny, tiny fraction of a second ago. Of course, light is so fast that over such a short distance, it doesn't really make a difference. Again, when you take a look at the moon, you are seeing it as it was about a second or so ago, even though it is much farther than that clock was, and that's because the distance between the Earth and the moon is 380,000 kilometers. Now, imagine looking at the sun. The light given off by the sun takes about 8 minutes to get to Earth, so when Earth-based telescopes look at the sun, they are seeing it as it was a whole 8 minutes ago. Now let's go further out to the sun's nearest neighbor, the Alpha Centauri triple star system. And this light takes more than 4 years to get to here, to Earth. So if it exploded or something, we wouldn't know about it for another 4 years. On the other hand, the second statement is not really true. The odds for a star happening to die while this light is already on its way to Earth are very small, simply because any star you can see with your naked eye is in our galaxy, and so the light is on average a few tens of thousands of years old. Nearly all of them would not have gone nova on such a short period of time. Keep in mind that in terms of a star's lifetime, a few thousand years is a blink of an eye. Thus, for this to happen, a star must be very, very near its own death after a very long life. It's only when you look much deeper into the galaxy using a telescope that you might end up seeing lights that have traveled from stars that are long gone. So yes, the idea that the stars we see are dead is simply wrong, even if it seems true and kind of matches the things you think you know. But in the end, facts always win. So the next time you gaze upon the sky at night, feel confident that the stars you see are there and will be for some time, even though we see them as younger as they actually are. Thank you.